Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a somewhat easy paper project today. I was perusing Design Space and just seeing some of the new projects they had under the Halloween category and I came across this masquerade mask. I've always loved masquerade masks, Mardi Gras, the, the Venice masks. I just think they're so beautiful. I actually had a few of the ceramic Venice masks on my wall when I was a young girl and I always thought they were just so pretty. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, this is absolutely super cute. So let's click customize. It's pretty simple. Three layers. Nothing too fancy. You could cut this out of paper stock, card stock, uh, lots of things, glitter paper. I'm going to cut out, I think, using uh, pattern paper and then I'll also do 65 pound just so you can see how flimsy it is. Uh, but let's get this started. So there is everything cut out. So 65 pound decorative paper and then this is decorative paper as well, but I attached it to 110 pound cardstock in behind to make it uh, more stiff. You could probably use some of the heavier uh, paper from Cricut. I didn't have any on hand, so if you don't double up your cardstock, obviously 6565 65 will give you <laughs> a bit more thickness if you do that. The intricate pattern, you gotta be careful on that, but uh, let's get these together and see how these look. So great crafts for kids to play with. <laughs> Might be a little tricky for them to put them together. They were a little tricky to get them off the mat. I'm just gonna use my regular glue here. The one eye does line up, I found, so I'm just going to add a bit of glue. That eye lines up. I got a little bit too much glue there, so probably should have glued the back of this but I don't think it really is gonna matter. Get the purple one on there. Again, the 65 pound isn't gonna hold up for a long time. Keep that in mind, especially if kids are gonna play with it. If you're gonna dress up in a pretty dress and just something simple like this, you could probably get away with it as long as you're careful. So there's the first one there. It's not bad. I thought it was pretty boring, but I just wanted to show you if you did the solid colors. So there's just nice pastel colors. Now for these ones, because there is the embossed gold on there, I'm gonna use hot glue. <laughs> I think it's going to work the best and I'm just going to glue Kind of right in the center. Get my strings out of the way. Now I could probably do some other little corners. Just so it's not flopping around. I do find it can be really hard to glue onto the gold and silver embossed paper. Right there. Oh, that's more than a little bit. Right there. 
that should be good for that one. One long strand coming off. Let me get that out of the way. I don't want to glue that onto the next layer. This would be super nice in glitter paper. I was thinking of doing that, but I didn't have a gold glitter paper that was big enough. They are, I think, six by six inch sheets I have for my golds and bronzes and silvers. So I was like, oh, not big enough, because this is, ooh, duh. Over eight inches wide, I believe. So for this one, I did paint a dowel gold. So they show it on a bit of an angle, so that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll hot glue it on. So that's probably a bit too much of an angle on that one. I guess it depends on how you want to hold it and what's going to be comfortable for you. But let's get that last one put together. So this one to attach the pattern paper I used Zots and then with just clear glue glued down a few places that were raising up a bit. lined up Let's find a few more spots to glue down it says you can layer this kind of any way you want to, but I found that the way they have it layered looks the nicest. So I went with that. of my glue on this one. Jeez, you'd think I've never used hot glue before. And it's popping up here a bit. I did glue that little tip down, but I'm going to add a bit more hot glue there. Get some more of the strings off. really like this blue paper. I think it is very pretty. Get this last one on. And with the hot glue, you know it's going to stick. So you don't have to worry about it. Coming undone. Little blob right there. Oh, that was off a little bit. And I'm going to add a little blob. One on the pretty paper. Get that one down. Two right there. Now, another thing you can do to fancy these up a bit, you can add some jewels. Let's see if I've got any silvery ones. Not the funnest colors. 
Probably will be too much on this one. But we can definitely put them on this one. Get my tweezers. There's a certain pair of tweezers that I want that I like to use for my jewels. These ones here. So if you have these Cricut tweezers and you've never found a good use for them, this is the use I have found for them. They pick up jewels very nicely. few fun place jewels definitely make it look super cute but then the other one because I made a mask kind of like this years ago for a Halloween costume and I had painted the, the wooden dowel you can see right there is my silver one I'm just putting those beads away but I wanted it to be prettier so I actually just attached ribbon coming down the dowel no, I'm not on the best angle there Then you can add a little dollop of glue. amazing what a little bit of ribbon can do to make something so much more prettier. Thank God for low temp glue guns. Okay, and then before I go any further, I find if you just twist ribbon up, gives it a nice little twirl to it. a little bit. And then leave a cute amount dangling off the end. So we will get this attached. I'm not going to do as much of an angle on this one. do maybe like that. That seems good. Okay, I'll let that glue set and then we will check all three out. 
So there's all three of them. I think they all actually look really good. Add a little bit of jewels to the 65 pound cardstock and it already looks 100% better. Love the glitter handle on that one. Love the gold handle. Again, it's however you want to make them. It's totally up to you for these ones. That's why when I saw them, I was like, I gotta make these. Because it didn't take long to cut out and even though they're all made out of paper, they all look different. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I truly appreciate it and I appreciate you. Until next time.